Pakistan's legitimate Prime Minister Imran Khan, who has been under arbitrary detention for 385 days, spoke with media representatives on Friday after his trial in a makeshift courtroom at the Adiala Jail in Rawalpindi. Responding to a journalist's question, Imran Khan said that he demands an open trial of general affairs if Mr. Khan is being accused of any conspiracy. He added that, quote, I am a former prime minister and the leader of the largest political party of the country, end quote. Security officials of the country had asked earlier this week who Imran Khan was to demand an open trial. Speaking about why he had called the protest rally in Islamabad off earlier this week, Imran Khan said that he had received intel that there was a possibility of chaos since religious parties could hold protests following the Supreme Court hearing about a sensitive religious issue. He did not wish for there to be a potential repeat of the May 9 false flag operation from last year. Imran Khan told reporters that it is his faith that has kept him steadfast, even in captivity, even though he has spent over a year in solitary confinement. Imran Khan's message for his nation is to prepare for the rally on September 8 and ensure that it is a success. A chilling audio was released by Dropsite News on Friday of an alleged Pakistani intelligence officer beating the abducted brother of an overseas Pakistani critical of the regime. The agency official demands posts on the social media platform X critical of the regime be deleted and to stop future posts about rigging in the elections or in support of Imran Khan's PTI as a condition for releasing his brother. Imran Khan's sisters met him in a Diyala jail on Friday. Alima Khan conveyed Mr. Khan's message that no further cancellation of permission to hold jalsas will be accepted. More misery for Pakistan's poor as utility stores, which offer subsidized groceries, are being shut down by the country's illicit regime. Pakistanis are already battling back-breaking inflation with more and more people sliding below the poverty line and a huge chunk of the population struggling to pay electricity bills. During PTI's government under Imran Khan, subsidized commodities through the utility stores corporations were expanded. Noah Argamani, an Israeli woman freed from Hamas's captivity in Gaza in June, said on Friday that her injuries were caused by an Israeli airstrike during a rescue operation, not by a Hamas attack. The Middle East Eye wrote that Argamani denied reports that Hamas had shaved her head and beat her during her captivity.